If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What's going on folks? It's Mr. Bucket List here. And today I get both my thoughts and review of the License to Chill on Margaritaville at Sea. Let's check it out. Now before I go into the details of this package, I just want to let you all know, if you're curious about this ship or you want to see more information, I have a full playlist including a full review of the cruise, a full ship tour, a full food tour, the full show on board, room tour, everything you need, I have that in a playlist. So if you enjoy this video and you want to check out more, check out the link in the description and have at it. Now back to the review. Now exactly what is this License to Chill package? Well, essentially, it's a VIP package, something you can buy. Um, with larger cruise lines, you can usually get a VIP package through a couple of ways, usually through either loyalty or you can just outright buy it like I do in Royal Caribbean. But on this cruise line, because they have such short itineraries and they're a newer cruise line, the best way to get any type of VIP service is just to go ahead and buy it. And so they have this, the License to Chill package. Now it does come in two different sets. You can either buy the solo License to Chill, like if you're a solo cruiser like I was on my cruise, or if you're going as a couple, you can have basically the License to Chill package, which includes two different people. Now, one thing I do want to note is when I bought my solo License to Chill package, and this is back in November of 2022, at the time period, it was actually $169, and they've recently made some updates where it costs a little bit more. Now it's at $199 for one person, and then it's at $399 for a couple. Um, but they did add some added features in there, and they just kind of changed things around a little bit. So I'll definitely make sure to go ahead and point those things out. But essentially, I mean, it's still the same package. It's just two different benefits that were just kind of adjusted in a way. Let's get to that. Now, the two main things that were adjusted, at least from the old versions to what they have now, is one, the solo license to chill package includes five drinks. And then if you have the double or well, the standard license to chill, it includes 10 drinks, so five per person. The second major change is how the massage and the spa works. So previously with the package I had, it was a set 25 minutes for a full body massage. If you wanted to upgrade, you could, but you didn't have to pay anything additional past that. Um, I did end up upgrading. It cost me like an additional 30 bucks, but it was worth it. With this current one, now you actually have a credit. So for solos like myself, it'll be a $75 credit. And then for doubles, it's a $150 credit, um, so $150. The only thing about that is I looked at some of the prices for the actual massages and stuff like that. They're like $100, $150, $175, $200. $100. So essentially, you probably will be paying out of pocket if you want a little bit more. But again, I did that myself as well. So it's not a big deal, but that is a noticeable change in my opinion. Outside of that, everything else pretty much stays the same. So let's get into my review and how I use my benefits. So the first thing is the express check-in at the terminal. This was amazing. I mean, when you first walk up, you see a huge sign that says express check-in. You really don't have to show much of anything. And ironically, when you go to that desk, that is the only time you have to show paperwork. Outside of that, when you get into the terminal, you usually have to walk up to the window and show your passport and all that stuff. Nope. With the express check-in with the Margaritaville at Sea license to chill package, none of that happens. Not only that, but they also personally walk you through like a little back way to an elevator and you go into the terminal, You're, the first one's in the terminal, they take your bags for you. You can either decide to have your bags with you the entire time going through, going onto the ship, or you can just have them delivered to your room. Either way, you get to watch where your bags go, which I really appreciate. Now, of course, since you're one of the first people in the terminal, that means you can go ahead and knock everything out. Again, this is something I talked about in my review um, of the documentary I did, but everything you book is in the terminal which is a first for me and you know, which i really appreciate um, it's just so much easier to get everything done before you're actually on the ship instead of running around on the ship when you're there so again if you have the license to chill package it just makes this process a lot easier and a lot simpler so your dining reservations for the steakhouse for the main dining room for the massage uh, for the spa all that is right here in the terminal and because you have the license to chill package you'll be the first one to do it now you also have this VIP area and again I really appreciate this as well. It was just really nice because 
as you all know, cruise ship terminals, they get packed. And I mean, especially for a terminal like this, where it's not really that big, but it's a lot of people. I mean, by the end of everything, it was standing room only. But because of this license to chill package, we had our own little sections off area. We had nice, comfortable chairs. We had refreshments. We had drinks. It was cool. It was a really nice time just to be back there. And then the ambassador came and she introduced herself. She told us how everything went. It was just, it was perfect. So again, this is a really good benefit if you don't like that tight, cramped space like you usually feel in the terminal. And then moving on to some of the gifts once you actually do get on the ship. Um, inside your room, you're gonna have things like a bottle of wine, a fruit basket, chocolate covered strawberries, a bathrobe, all these little gifts inside there just to kind of make your, like I said, your experience more enhanced. And so again, something I really appreciated. This package also does include the internet. So, I mean, a lot of people always want to have con connection all the time. And I mean, of course, if you're out at sea, unless you have some type of internet package, your phone is just not going to work. This internet was great. I was really surprised. I mean, you know, all know the ship is pretty old. And so for this old ship to have decent internet, I was thoroughly impressed. Um, I never had any issues. I was even streaming a couple of days. Um, I got on Instagram and did some streaming while I was on the cruise ship. No issues whatsoever. So again, if you're someone that needs the internet, it is included in this package. The package also includes a wine tasting event. And so during our event, it was like cheeses, wine, things like that. I think all together they had us try six different wines. And I mean, these are like glasses. It wasn't little shot glasses. This was actual like cups full of wine. And so, I mean, I'm not a huge drinker. I didn't finish honestly any of them, but either way, if you want some free alcohol or included alcohol, this is the way to go. Um, you'll definitely be feeling something once you leave this event. And then not only with the wine good, but the food as well. So if you all have seen my food video, you already know I thoroughly enjoyed my meals in both the steakhouse and the MDR. And this is also thanks to that package. And so for the MDR, the main dining room, your seat is already ready. So it really doesn't matter what time you come. Either way, you're going to have a reserved table, which again, I appreciate it. And then when it comes to the steakhouse, you can go there twice for breakfast and then once for dinner. Um, now, when you go there for breakfast, it doesn't include the wine, the sparkling wine breakfast. So basically, bottomless drinks. Um, they will load you up. As soon as they find out you have that package or if you tell them you're a YouTuber, they will hook you up like they did me. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, you can easily get trashed in the morning if that's, if that's, that's your thing. Um, and then as far as the steakhouse, that was really good as well. Um, they also pass around alcohol and I have to pay additional for it, but they will walk around with shots and things like that as well. So. Um, all together, it's really cool to have that included in this package. And then going back to the spa, so again, that was included with mine. Now it is that credit. Um, either way, this is my first time getting a massage on a cruise ship, and it got me hooked. Um, I did a full tour with the manager as well. So again, if you all haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, the spa is currently being updated like the majority of the ships. I mean, it does have some work to be done. Um, but either way, I mean, you can request to have a room where you're facing like the ocean while getting a massage or you can have an all darked out room like I had. Either way, it's amazing. Now this one right here was a big one for me. Oh my goodness. So when it comes to the shows, you all know, well, if you haven't watched my channel, you probably don't know, but I love being front seat at the shows, concerts, cruise ship shows, anything. I love being in the VIP section. I always either come early or I just pay extra for it, like on this cruise. And this had to be the best experience I've ever had because they actually included us in the show. So, I mean, not only are you sitting right there, they come and they're singing right at your table and just kind of just making jokes. It's cool. But then after that, they have a conga line that goes all the way around to the theme, Margaret Bill, the song by, um, by Jimmy Buffett. It was just amazing. So, I mean, you have a conga line, you're sitting VIP, you're right there in the action. Again, this is just, it was amazing. Just a really good time. And then finally, this is what made it worth it for me. I would have paid double for it if I had known how much this is going to help out. So one thing about Margarita Ville at sea is, depending on what day you go, you may or may not get off the ship within about, I would say about 30 to 45 minutes to maybe about three to four hours. It just is really up to the port authorities and how they're feeling. On my cruise, it was a huge line to get off the cruise ship and it was just bad, people were arguing, it was just, it was a mess. And so because of this package, I had no idea that it also meant they went around customs as well, but this package got me off of the ship when everyone else that was like, basically we didn't have the package, it took them about three and a half hours to get off the cruise ship. And so 
again if you're someone that's pressed for time for me ironically this is the one time i actually was pressed for time i was like i gotta get off this ship and get home and i was able to get off but i mean a lot of people were stuck on that in that line because the port authority is not clearing the ship for them to get off well at least for that section to get off i don't know what was going on but somehow we were able to get around the port authority and she pretty much she held up the sign um the lady the cruise ambassador anna held up the sign and said look we're coming through no matter what they bought this package they gotta get off and so again that's what made it worth it for me um it's one thing just i don't know just being in a line a crowd of people that's not what you pay vip for and that truly made it worth it for me so again this package was phenomenal the only thing that was not included in mine was the drinks of course but i'm not a big drinker like i said that was fine with me um, but if you are a drinker i can recommend it if you're not a big drinker i can still recommend it it's so much value that get, gets added to this cruise with this package i can highly recommend it but anyway, that was my quick thoughts and review of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't seen my other videos, including the full review, the full tour, my room tour, it's just a playlist there. I'll go ahead and link it right now. And other than that, have a good night and I'll see you soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.